Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to be playing El Dorado Hills Summer Casual here on the Golf Club 2. Um, I am going to be playing with a DualShock 4, guys. Uh, it is my son's. I've just went and borrowed it on the back of the live stream. And I'm just going to prove to a certain few poisonous individuals, I really shouldn't have to do this, that I can play better with a DualShock 4, an analog controller. Um, I am really struggling with my game at the moment with my normal controller, which is a Nancon official PS4 controller. There's no advantage to playing with it other than I've got big hands, the thumb stick's larger, and it just fits in my hand more comfortably. So let's see how we do get on here. We've got a 10 mile per hour wind. There we go, boom. It's probably my best swing. That is probably my best swing in about four or five rounds, guys. So there you go. Um, I am really struggling my game, guys, as you've seen in the live stream. I was 9 over, 10 over, and maybe even 12 over. Okay. Um, the previous round, 9 over. So my game has really went to, to pot at the moment. Just going to remove these ghost balls. But yeah, guys, this uh, this hate must... It, <coughs> pardon me, it has to stop. There's a certain inv individual now who I will name him, Adam Thomas. Um, it's now a police matter. Um, I've got heaps of um, information... That this guy has been spamming me with just constant hate mail um, from variable fake accounts that has now been linked to his uh, IP address. That's all I can say at this time. But that is now a police matter. Um, but in life, guys, you're always, always going to get jealous. Bitter people, and that's all these people are. Um, and after this... That I prove that I can play with dual shock. Like I say, I might go one over, I might go seven, eight under, I don't know. Um, but it's just going to prove, oh, it's not going to sit, is it? That I can play effortlessly with any controller with the swing technique I have. And uh, like I say, I really shouldn't have to do this. I was debating whether I was going to do this or not. But here we are using an analog dual shock for it. And we do pick up a part. But as always, guys, I want to thank everyone for the constant support and uh, love on the channel. It is a real community channel, guys, and it is really growing every day. It's improving. I've got great ideas um, for the channel to improve it for myself and for, most importantly, your guys' uh, viewing, entertainment, and enjoyment. So it's another really good swing. Like I say, guys, the last three or four, five rounds have just been embarrassing for me, frustrating. Um, so far with the, the analog controller, it's good. I'm not going to um, curse myself, though. So we are left 154 yards down five feet with 10 mile per hour wind. So just clubbing down to the, the nine iron here, guys. The wind is going to move us to the right. We've got a slope here. It should move our ball slightly to the left. Let's have a look at this. This slope is deceiving. Yeah, that slope did move me far more to the left than it said it was. Ah, the wind's taken over now. And wow, the <laughs> nine irons went 160 yards. So I am going to be left with a difficult birdie putt, 21 foot putt, down 2 inches, green speed's 166, this is a good line, this is a good line, oh what a fantastic putt for the birdie there guys and I do get to 1 under par, so a decent start to the round, but guys I just want to thank everyone who hung out in the, the live stream with uh, me and Tim uh, moments earlier. Uh, it is really appreciated. Another really good strike. I mean, I think we had about 33, 34 people in the stream at one point. And I was really struggling with my game, guys. Like I say, it's my worst ever round, 12 over. But the fact that you guys hung in there with me uh, is, is fantastic. And I really appreciate the support. So, still a lot of work to do here. There's no way we are reaching this... this uh, Par 5 and 2, so this is going to be a layup shot with a 6 wood. Once again, another really good clean strike. And that should kick on 
probably going to leave me a pit shot here. But yeah, guys, the Facebook page is live. That went live last night, and we have picked up um, a good amount of members already. So if you want to join the, the Facebook page, um, closed group it is early dash 1981 and in brackets YouTube that is on Facebook if you search for it um, I will put a link to it in the oh we hit the flag stick I will put a link to it in the video description it's just going to be a group page guys where we can chat um, I can give you guys better notification of when I'm going live um, I can give you guys uh, future ideas for the channel I can take on board ideas from you guys, course recommendations, what you would like to see going forward with the Golf Club 2019. And just basically a community page where it's going to be friendly and we can all chat and interact. So let's see if we can get this close with this par 3. It's another really good strike, guys. That wind has really overshot me there. And I'm just going to be on the light rough, I would imagine. It's fairway actually. So a seven yard chip shot. Looks fairly straight. Is it going to run out? Boom, it is. And we do manage to pick up another birdie there, guys. And we do get to two under. Wow, the way things are going, I might have to ditch this. Uh, my Nancon controller I normally use and um, revert back to the analog. Because it's like night and day at the moment. So 10 mile per hour headwind here, guys. Just going to deal off this driver and punch it. Once again, it's another good drive. Another good strike. And that should make its way about 290 yards down this fairway. Wow, we've got a massive run out there. Despite a 10 mile per hour headwind. 302 yards we've nailed that with a, the drop in elevation. And these firm greens and fairways. 190 yards down 40 feet into the wind. Five irons a club, just going to deal off that a touch, guys, and I am really hoping this wind holds me up. The slope and the wind will really take my ball to the left, but this is a long par four. Good clean strike again. Wind looks like it's tracking well. Ah, it's just going to come in a bit hot. Just going to come in a bit hot. Should have maybe lofted that up a touch or two. Probably going to have about a 20 foot putt for birdie. 23 foot. Once again, nothing major in this. Just going to turn slightly to the right. But, um, yeah, still no news on the release of the Golf Club 2019, guys. Still no confirmation on these uh, review codes that myself and Tim are meant to be getting, amongst others. I'm not sure who, who the other guys is. But uh, watch this space, guys. And hopefully there's going to be news in the coming days. I mean, that, that post that people were saying that the game was going to be released tomorrow, is it? I think that's been, been taken down, so I've got no idea. I personally can't see the game being released tomorrow, but who knows? Like I say, people keep coming to myself to ask Lee, when's the game coming out? Um, what's happening? We've not heard from HB Studios. So I don't know, guys. I am trying to do my best and drum up excitement and um, advertise the game for, for HP Studios and the Golf Club 2019 because it is going to be the only game that you will see on my channel. So it will be spearheading my channel. This is why you guys are here. But once again, very little information coming, guys. There is people trying to second guess things, but I'm really excited about the game. I'm really excited about um, when it's going to be released. And whether or not I'm still getting a copy, I think I upset um, a few of the HB admins with my my posts on the forums, but it wasn't a bragging post. Anyone that knows me, I'm certainly not that. There's many things in my life that I could come and brag about, what I've done in my life, what I've achieved. I don't. Um, it was just basically a post saying, right guys, I've I no idea when I'm getting these codes. I didn't even know what the codes were meant to be called. Um, I just decided to call it early access because I thought that's what it was. But um, there you go. Whether or not that's going to come back and bite me in the butt, I have no idea. But I was informed that I was getting two codes, guys. That's all it was. I wasn't informed what the codes were. I've got no idea if it was the full game, if it was just the multiplayer. Do not know. Still don't know. But um, I will be um, doing my best to 
get the Golf Club 2019 to you guys as soon as I can and showcase this game. And if we do get the codes, I will be showing everything I can on the game. I'm no creator, but I will certainly jump into the creator side of things for people who would like to see that. So we are left with 111 yards, guys. 8 mile per hour win. Severe slope is going to take us to the right. Gap wedge is definitely going to be the club. Just lofted this up a touch with the firm greens. Going to rely on this wind to take me back round. It should bounce out for me. Pin high, almost probably going to be about an 8 foot putt. 9 foot putt. This one's just going to turn slightly to the right. Is it going to hold its line? It does. And we do get to five under par, guys. Wow. I mean, with the amount of issues I've had with my game lately, the past four or five rounds, this feels good. It does. And like I say, we are using the, the analog here. You will notice we won't get disconnections. So 163 yards just loft in the seven iron up with this 10 mile per hour wind. This ball is really going to move to the right-hand side. Ah, I've pushed it slightly to the right. And with that wind, it's probably going to be fortunate to hit the green here. Yeah, we're just going to come off the green and back on the fairway. It's just a slight push right there, guys. It is something that has been creeping into my game more and more regular, especially my putting. That should run out. Oh, I just checked up. It was never really online either, though. And that is going to leave me a little two foot tapping for the par, which we managed to get. So, let's move on to hole number nine, which looks like it's going to be a par five, guys. But this is a really nice course, guys. I, I've got no idea who designed it. Like I say, this was just a off the cuff stream. Well, not as a stream, an off the cuff recording. Um, I was disappointed with my gameplay. I'm fed up here. Just two or three bitter, jealous people that keep pointing fingers. I mean, it's just, it's childish. It really, really is. I can play with any controller. Like I say, guys, with the amount of hours, I reckon I've got at least a thousand hours in this game. Um, I have honed my, my swing technique. I have tried four or five different techniques over the duration of the golf club and the golf club too. And this one that I've near perfected, to be honest, um, is really paying off well for me with a single-handed swing. I hold it with one control, uh, one hand at an angle, and I swing from, let's say, seven o'clock to one o'clock. If you were you were on a clock, that should kick out from your back on the fairway. He says it does just, and it works for me. And all these people, well, I'm saying all these people. It's like two or three, and. I mean, I was speaking to Tim in the live stream. He was getting a bit, and I'm really disappointed in a few of the people that have said things. So, um, it's people who we've tried to help out in the past. Um, but there you go. And like I say, life is full of jealous, bitter people, guys. And after this, that is it. There's a, a, an end to it now. If you don't, if you think I'm cheating, just don't watch my videos. Just do not watch my videos. It's as simple as that. Um, but I can assure you. Oh, it's a bad miss. I am not a cheat. I never have been. I work hard on my swing. Like all YouTubers should. You know, like all YouTubers. All YouTubers should. Anyone that's showcasing it. And I know you're going to get hate because I put myself out there. And I've got broad enough shoulders. Um, but like I say, there is one individual. Um, and I am going to say his name. Adam Thomas. If that is even his real name. But uh, it is now a police matter with him. So we will see how that um, pursues. So let's move on to hole number 10. We've got par 5. Another really good solid strike, guys. Another straight shot. And that is going to work its way down the fairway really, really well. But like I say, guys, to those of you, if you think that that controller I'm using, go and buy one and, and use it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. If you think I'm getting as big as... Go and buy one of these controllers and use it for yourself. Because I can assure you there is no advantage. I'm 6 feet 1. I'm 15 stone. We're like 8%, 9% body fat. I'm a big lad. I've got big hands. And the DualShock 4 just looks tiny in them. 
but it's mainly for the thumbstick. When I did use the the analog back in the golf club in the early days of the golf club too, I put on the the adapters. What do you call it again? Ah, oh, I forgot it. It's just an extension of the thumbstick. Is that going to turn? It looks like it is. Oh, we just miss it on the edge. Ah, oh, I forgot what they're called, guys. They're just an extension of the thumbsticks. That's all they are. It did make it a bit more sensitive. But um, I do have big thumbs. So it did It did help my gameplay. And like I said, an Ancon's got really big um, thumbsticks. But it's just as sensitive as a dual shock. I'm actually going to say the dual shock's easier to play with, as you're seeing here with the struggles I've had. So par 3, 196 yards. 6 iron, relying on the wind. But such a relief, guys, as you can imagine, when you're constantly hitting fast and pushing things right like I have been, it's just a relief to be be swinging well. Um, and that is going to set me up nicely for a birdie putt. 13 foot, that's run on a bit more than I expected. Hopefully this is going to turn and drop 4 inches. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Nah, I didn't hit it, didn't have the line. Probably going to be looking at a 4 foot putt for part. But yeah, guys, if you are a supporter of the channel, and like I say, I know most people are on social media now, um, four or five years have requested that I did do something like this. So there you go, guys. You guys ask. I try, pardon me, my best to accommodate you. I have set up a Facebook page. Um, nasty, any bullying or, or anything like that will not be tolerated. It is a page where... Um, like-minded people like yourselves can chat anything with the Golf Club 2019, Golf Club 2, anything you want to chat about really guys. Ah, oh, how on earth, wind took me round, I think a wee bit more there than uh, I allowed for it. And like I say, I can give you guys my upload schedules, tell you what I'm planning, you guys can ask anything on there as well. I've um, went in a bit of detail about, a bit more about my personal life um that's a good strike again and like i say we are swinging well this should be good this should be good run out for me ah uh, sat down a lot more quicker coming out of the rough than i anticipated but we are going to be left with a nine foot putt but thanks to everyone who has joined the facebook uh, group it's great to put uh, faces and real names Oh, it's another putt that we just miss out on for the birdie. Uh, to, like, YouTube names, if you know what I mean. So it's really, really good. And um, I think it's going to be a great page where we can all help to improve the channel for your guys' benefit. So hole 13, why we're really getting through this, it makes a change when you're not reviewing course. I do, I do apologise that I don't know the, the course designer here. So we do have a 9 mile per hour wind. Just going to set this down the right hand side with the three wood here, guys. Once again, really good strike. And it is actually, this is actually a really nice course, guys. I am really enjoying this. So we do have an 18 mile per hour wind. Come on. So 177 up 17 feet. Slight upslope here. Wind's going to move us to the right. Just going to take a touch off of this. Just de-loft it. Once again, fantastic strike, guys. This should be good. This should just work its way on. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Wow. Just the run outs on these, these greens are really, really firm. The ball's just struggling to sit down, and that's went another 15 feet past. But we do have another putt for birdie. There's not much turn in this. That should turn back. Have I hit it enough? Oh, I didn't hit it enough, guys. Once again, my pattern today is just letting me down. We had the fantastic line there. Just didn't give it enough beans. And we are going to remain at six under par here, guys. But why, I mean, like I say, guys, it's just so nice to be able to enjoy this round. And like I say, I shouldn't have to prove myself to people, but it's the kind of guy I am. And this is it now, guys. That is it. 
this will now be the end of it and as I say that I've pushed it right this actually might be okay though oh I've hit the treat oh it bounces out for me and we do get a favourable bounce there a member's bounce it kicks into the, the middle of the fairway but like I say guys I, I can't win I get cheated I get accused of hacking when I use an analogue I get accused of hacking when I use an, an official uh, Nikon PS4 controller. So, you can't win. I've got broad shoulders, but I'm just throwing it out there, guys, that I can play the game better with an analog, which I'm proving here. And we do pick up another birdie there, guys, and I think that's now seven under par. And we are going along nicely. Hopefully now, guys, it's it's not going to be too much longer till we get a bit more information regarding the Golf Club 2019. This wind's going to take us round to the right. Long par 5. It's another really good clean strike. And that should work its way down the fairway really, really nice. Once again, I don't think we're going to be able to attack this pin in two. The green does look like it's way downhill. It's just going to be a layup shot here, guys. Oh, these bunker. I'm just going to try and find the gap between these two bunkers. With this wind and slope, it's going to be quite difficult. I ah, slightly pushed that one right. And with a combination of the wind jet, that is going to go more to the right than I would have liked than we are in the bunker. So we are going to be left with a flop. I've not been playing flop shots well. I've been getting everything very fast. So let's see if we can get this close out the bunker. Oh, I've played it well. Oh, it's, it's, it's came out short. Don't spin. It's going to give us a birdie opportunity, probably about 15 foot, but that one did come up short, 12 feet. But yeah, I do apologise, I don't know the the designer of this, guys. Like I say, it's a very impromptu round. I'm just straight off my live stream, which finished about 20 minutes ago. I went and got a pint of water and uh, had a chat with Tim. And uh, decided to just come, uh, well, not live, record a game with me, with the analog, DualShock 4, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully I've done enough to uh, prove the doubters wrong. Someone will still come up with something. And like I say, the hate and the nastiness now from certain individuals is just, it's reached a point now where, ah... Uh, not concentrating and I've pushed that right again. That is going to be in trouble. Probably heavy rough. Um, but like I say, guys, it ends now. If you've got nothing else to say, just don't watch my content. You know, just leave. This is a, a very community-based um, channel. It's a family-based channel. My own two kids um, enjoy watching my streams at times. And like I say, I don't want to expose them to, to bitter people. I don't want to expose any of my subscribers to bitter people. Just jealous individuals. But um, these guys will get in. Get in. These guys will no longer be associated with the channel. They will not be associated with the society events or anything like that. So they're kind of hurting themselves, to be fair. Because we, me, myself, Tim and Phil have helped a few guys along the way. Um, that's what we're here to do, to try and help everyone out the best we can. That's the kind of people we are. So, hole 17, guys. Let's see if we can pick up another birdie and get to 8 under par. That's a good strike. That wind should take us round. The yardage should be bang on here. This should be bang on. That should sit down fairly quickly. That is a great approach shot there, guys. Couldn't ask for much better there. Probably a 5-foot putt for birdie. 6-footer. It's again quite a tricky putt, certainly not a gimme. It does turn into the center off the cup, guys, for a birdie, and we do move to eight under par with one hole to play, which is obviously the 18th. But really nice course, guys, really enjoying it. But yeah, please go and check out the, the Facebook group. I will put a link to it 
in the the video description but it is early dash 1981 in brackets YouTube and it is a closed group uh, you have to be approved to join the group and hopefully it is another um, thing that we can add to the the community we've got here to improve everything for you guys and once again I think it gives us better interaction so a lot of work still to do here long par four I don't think my five iron is going to reach it's going to be the four hybrid with this wind just lofting up a touch the beauty with this four hybrid is it does land very softly on the the firm greens and with this wind it should make it land even softer this could be good this could be good decent probably looking about 14 15 feet putt for birdie to see if we can get to nine under par 10 foot this one is going to turn to the right looks good if it holds its line it does and we do manage to drop the birdie so there you go guys i've proved that i've just had my best round in six seven rounds with an analog controller hope you enjoyed that if you did hit the like button if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button i will see you guys all very shortly hopefully it's going to be on the golf club 2019 and take care love you all and peace out bye